Over the course of the next hour, my colleague Glenn Wilkinson and I will be taking you on a unique and fascinating journey into the private life of a gadget that you probably thought was on your side. This is technology journalist Jeff White introducing a stage show where it's very much encouraged that you leave your mobile phone switched on. Your phone's talking right now. Glenn is listening in to the signals that are being sent out from your phone. In the show, they'll show you how they can see information that your phone is sending out that they can read, that most people just aren't aware of. To see it in action, I caught up with them in a London cafe, which had Wi-Fi access, which I connected to, to see what they could see. So most coffee shops these days have, um, have free Wi-Fi, no password, just jump onto it and check your mail, do some browsing. What most people don't realize is that just by the nature of how Wi-Fi works, when you connect the hotspot like that, everybody else can see all of your traffic, all the websites you're looking at, the images, etc. You can't do it with just stock standard equipment, but here on this laptop, I'm running some free software with a little bit of hardware that costs 10 pounds on Amazon, and there's tutorials all over the internet to figure out how to do this. And essentially what I can see here on the screen, you can see all the people who are connected to the Wi-Fi network, all the websites that, you're, that they're visiting. So whether the Wi-Fi network is uh, password protected or unpassword protected, you're literally sniffing, is that the right word? It's Correct. Like all the traffic that's going on in the cafe, and you can see what, if I visit, say, the Londonist website, yep. you can then see me doing that. I used my phone to go to the Londonist website and go to a page which had a video on. Interestingly, you could see where it was also hitting the Discus server, that's the commenting system that Londonists use. And yet, there was all the data being streamed from YouTube, or as it's known on the internet, Google Video. And yet, Jeff explained that this is what companies want. Personally, I think that when you get the device, when you get your mobile phone or your laptop or your tablet, Things like Wi-Fi should be switched off by default. Things like Bluetooth should be switched off by default. And there should be a little thing saying, when you switch on Wi-Fi, by the way, these are the potential problems with it. The problem is the technology companies want you to use all of this stuff. So it's not just the companies that make the kit, it's the companies that run the Wi-Fi networks, the companies that own the websites. Everybody wants you to have everything switched on at all times so they can track you and trace you. You can see what I'm doing. So I could just be visiting a dodgy website. <laughs> thinking I'm doing it safely yeah, on my phone, and you could be set in the corner watching everything that I do, knowing yep. where I've been, what websites I've been to. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> the next phase is much more aggressive, and that's once Glenn has learned the names of the Wi-Fi network that your phone frequently connects to, say at home or at work, he can then rename his device to that same name, and your phone, as mine did here in the cafe, will then connect to it, thinking it's safe, when in fact it's connecting to Glenn's device. Okay. So someone is basically accessing the internet, not through the cafe's Wi-Fi hotspot, but through your hotspot. You mm. can obviously see everything on there. What can you then see that yep. they're doing? So he showed us a previous example of how you can find out someone's address. Not my address, because I don't want you to know where I live. Yeah. So here we've identified a device, an Apple device, and because it's our, our test phone, um, it's okay what we're doing. And here we successfully geolocate these networks. The so previous networks this person is connected to in the UK, United States, um, Eastbourne in the UK there. And here we see the full address. And we also get a street view. So we just paste this into the browser. And there's that person's house. What we do in the show is we, we take the lid off the phone. Right? All this stuff that you didn't know was happening, all little messages your phone's sending out, all the tiny little bits of data that are going off in the world, we show them to you. We get an audience of people and we show them in real time what's happening on their phones that they didn't know about. What if your phone had a secret life? Jeff explains that there are those with technical knowledge which obviously know this kind of stuff. Me, I knew some of it, but not all of it. So I'm going along to the show to find out more about the secret life of my mobile phone. When you're a general punter and I tell you, look, in the last five minutes, your phone sent out 30,000 little bits of information. Your first reaction is, I didn't know that. And the second reaction is, well, what? What did I send? Where did I send it? Who did I send it to? What happens to all the stuff? 